Hello everyone and welcome Who back to Outside Chronicles, the build? series of course where we go outside the maps of Chronicles using a mod menu here as you can see on the bottom of your screen. Let's go ahead and turn on both God Mode as well as No Clip right off the start. And, uh, and let's start seeing what's going on outside of this map, man! Okay, so I think a good place to start is with this window right here. So let's go ahead and no clip on out and take a look. I'm assuming this is just a nice little simple black room, right, where the zombies spawn in. Nothing too interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on over to here as well. This one looks a little bit more complex, right? There is an actual room that this goes back into uh, with some objects. In fact, there's a Speed Cola bottle right there, which is interesting. We got a menu as well that I don't know if you could see very well from from there, but yeah, there's definitely breakfast all day. That's fantastic. Love that French toast. Oh my god, beautiful. Uh, but there's not much else going on here. It's another one of those theater posters which you can see around the map in other places, uh, and then just a whole bunch of darkness. Oh my god. One thing perhaps interesting to note is that Shadow Man's hat is right here, which is quite interesting. At least I'm pretty sure that's the model. Uh, for Shadow Man's hat, but uh, I'm not sure why that's here, but it certainly is right next to his uh, crystal liqueur. Uh, honestly, I just want to I want to get right to it. Let's go out the front door, you know? Let's go out the front door to the theater, because this, this is what I've been wondering this entire time, if I'm honest with you, is what this place looks like from this angle, which uh, it's not crazily impressive, I suppose. Uh, but let's go ahead and go out the doors into the into the oh, there's another barrier here. Interesting. I don't wonder why... Why would that be? That's strange. But let's go ahead and go on out. And here we are! Oh god! So yeah, it seems like that there's not much floor here, but we can walk on this concrete slab and take a look at things. Kinda... Kind of a nice view, to be honest with you. Interesting that there's like a... It's like a tower right there. There's definitely a few things to check out here, like we have a random building over here, just floating. I'm guessing that's probably one of the areas that you can spawn into, yeah, when you teleport, and that's exactly what it is. This is that little that little chair here that you can spawn into, right, to pick up those those uh, those reels. Looks like uh, here's the other room to that as well, or maybe this is actually, I think this is the actual room that you spawn into right here, isn't it? That's cool! Do we have more to that? We do. We have another room over here. Which, so actually, there's three rooms here, and two of them you don't normally uh, walk in, right? So this, these are just straight up, straight up for ambiance. So this is the room that you get teleported into. Now I doubt there's any significance to this, but on the outside of this room, there's these two red and blue circles, which they look like the end to like a pipe or something. But I don't, I don't think there's like actually a pipe here. They're just, I mean, kind of, I suppose. They're just chilling. Uh, it's a very weird detail that I don't know why they're there. I'm guessing it's left over from something. Who knows? But cool cool to see that, I suppose. So moving on from that, let's just go ahead and get a better look at all these buildings up here. Just some of the artwork going on outside the map. There's not too much to them, obviously. These are all just facades to, to look cool. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely nice to get a different perspective here. And a little bit strange that there's just massive concrete... I suppose it's not really concrete, right? It's like stone wall here. Yeah, and there's it's like split in the middle here too. That's quite strange. And inside of it, uh, there's like particles. It looks like, oh, yo, I wonder if this is, so like when you're teleported, I wonder if this is where you are, because it looks like there's like stuff floating around, right? And that's usually what it looks like when you're teleporting, right? Or am I? Maybe I'm wrong. We'll have to test that out in a little bit. There's also this big tower out here for seemingly no reason. I think you might be able to see that from inside. I'm sure you can see that from inside the map. But I'm not sure why it's here. Like, I don't know if there's some lore behind this tower in general. Maybe that has to do with some of the some of the BO2 Easter egg stuff. Because I know that the BO2 Easter egg stuff had a lot to do with transmitting radio signals. But interesting nonetheless. You guys gotta let me know down in the comments if you know if you know why this might be here. And lastly, for the stuff out front, just gonna take a look at this little, uh, this little tower here, which is, I think, is kind of cool. It seems like there's a barrier inside of it, which is strange. So I can't, like, oh, well, I can actually, I can actually kind of walk on it, huh. I'm not sure why this would be in front of a theater, but it, it definitely is. Now, obviously, there's plenty more stuff to check out, like some stuff over there that I can see, but we'll check that out when we get to that side of the map. This is one last look at the front of the building, 
which looks like an absolute mess from this angle. Uh, but let's go ahead and go on into Kino and check out some more stuff. So up here to the left, the first window I looked into, of course, there's this area right here, uh, which we can, of course, walk around in. Obviously, below us is the actual playable area. We got those pictures, like we do on the other side as well. And I don't think... If I press E on them, nothing happens, right? No, no, I can't interact with them like you can the other ones. Uh, but quite interesting. It's also kind of weird how the floor is, like, not real here. Um, but... Strange, strange, strange. Oh, hey, zombie, how you doing, buddy? Alright, that's enough for spawn room. I think it's time to open up a door, start going this way, start checking out some of this stuff. Uh, so first we have this room right here. Nothing too special, it doesn't look like. And this staircase right here I want to check out. Let's go on up. It doesn't seem like it goes anywhere, though, does it? It's just a bunch of debris. And it, yeah, it goes to nothing again. Just a solid wall on the other side. Interesting to see, though. And then for this window, let's go ahead and check this out, too. This has a little little bookcase, it looks like. We got some, oh my god, we got some wine chilling. My lord. And anything around the corner? We got a nice ambient light, though. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, this is some creepy lighting. Gotta love that. Bunch of bloody footprints in a whole very dark room. There's a lot of darkness on this map, I'm realizing. Many of you already know, there's a little Easter egg on Kino, in, in uh, at least in Chronicles. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not in the original version whatsoever. But this door right here, as well as another door right over there, if you stand around, around them long enough, uh, you'll eventually hear some knocking. And if you repeat the knocking, uh, it'll repeat knocking back to you and back and forth. Uh, but I want to know, is there actually anything behind this door? So let's go ahead and check. It, it looks like no. And of course, while we're at it, we might as well check the other one as well, since uh, it seems like... These are the only two doors that do it, at least that I know of. So let's go ahead and check out. And, yeah, not not anything here. I mean, what are we going to expect? You know, they're outside the map. It's not like it would be modeled. It would be absolutely ridiculous. But let's check out some more stuff. So we got these little garages, which are kind of cool. Uh, there's not too much to them. We got some, got some random paint and stuff in this one. It looks like a door that goes to nowhere. I'm guessing that's another one of those rooms, which we'll check out in a bit. Uh, and this one as well. Yeah, again, not much to it, all right? Uh, but, oh, wait, is there a... Oh, okay, I thought that was, like, I thought that was a perk machine for a second, but obviously, obviously not. It's just for film. Quite interesting, though. And let's go on out this way now to where this man unfortunately met his demise. Uh, there is this little room, which I noticed while we were poking about. Strange that this is here. I'm not sure... Not sure why, to be honest with you. It seems like there's no reason. I guess I guess it provides a nice little safe spawn location for zombies to spawn and come around the corner. Right, that you can't, you can obviously not see. Uh, so you can have that feeling of, you know, zombies just coming out of the woodworks, I suppose. And uh, just a nice little look at this alleyway. It doesn't look like there's much going on here. And, of course, we could take a walk out to our Morgue City bus. Uh, which actually has an interior. Interestingly enough, doesn't seem like there's much to its interior, but it, it definitely does have something going on there. Interesting, that's cool. Alright, so we got two more rooms outside the map here on this on this left side. Let's go ahead and check them out. I'm assuming these, again, are just places that you get teleported to. Yep, here's the teddy bear room. Oh my. Uh, mystery. Is there anything inside of this little box? Nope, definitely nothing. Definitely nothing inside the little box. No little hidden Easter eggs. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else really in this room to check out too much. We got the massive teddy bear, yeah, which is which is quite quite creepy to be honest with you. Doesn't seem like you can shoot him or anything like that though. The bullets, oh no, they kind of uh, they kind of just go right through him, don't they? Yeah, crazy. Uh, not too much else to be honest with you. Is this supposed to be Samantha's bedroom? Is that what this is? Because this place this actually looks. Oh, dude, there's no way it's not, actually, right? Because in the end of Origins, this is the exact room. I mean, obviously, no teddy bear, none of this, none of this craziness. But this is definitely the room, right, where the MP40 wall by was, like, over there. They were, like, messing about right here, doing their toy toy soldier stuff in, uh, in whatever realm they were supposed to be in at that time. I'm not actually completely sure about the storyline. Again, you guys might have to mention that down in the comments if you want to. Uh, but yeah, this window just looks out to nowhere, huh? Just looks out to nothingness. Looks out to a white, a very, very, very white, very white 
That's that's about it. Just looks out to very white. There's a candle down here though. And a bottle under the bed. Wow, Samantha's a drinker, I guess. Alright, so on to the next little room out here. We got this one, which is again also Samantha's bedroom, or at least I assume it is. Uh, but it's a much nicer version of it. I don't remember being teleported to this, to be honest with you. But oh yeah, this has the toy soldiers. Look at that. Okay, so this is supposed to be the better version, right? This is supposed to probably be the version that is in uh, Revelations. Or not in Revelations, sorry. Well, I guess in Revelations, yeah, but uh, in... Uh, what am I trying to say? At the end of Origins, right? In the Origins cutscene. I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is supposed to be. We've got this little map here, too. Look at that. What is going on here? What is this a map of? All right, you guys are going to have to let me know what you guys think of this. Take a, take a screenshot of this or something. I don't know... What this is a map of? That's so strange. There's this little circle in the middle. Yeah, I got, I got no ideas, man. I have absolutely no ideas. So let me know if you guys know anything about this, because I'm not going to lie. I'm actually quite interested about this one. I don't know. I have no clue why that is there. Uh, but yeah, just another check. Let's see. Anything inside the chest? Nope. Nothing inside the chest. As normal. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so back inside the map here, taking a walk along the road into the alley. Well, I suppose the alleyway, right? Uh, we got another window right here. I don't think there's going to be too much interesting uh, to see here, but yeah, a little dark room, of course, where zombies can spawn, and a door that, of course, goes to nowhere. And uh, I want to take a look, just get up here a little bit at this, at just a different angle. All right, there's all these, like, uh, these little balconies here, and I just want to take a look. Yeah, there's not any kind of modeled interiors for anything here. Uh, although I assume this is modeled, so let's take a look. Yeah, there is a little bit of an interior here, which is interesting, right? So you can you can have that illusion of looking through those windows and, and feeling like there's something there, right? There's these little barrels and stuff and boxes, but it looks like as far as this building goes, that's about it that's modeled, uh, other than other than these garages and of course uh, of course the window right there. All right, let's move on up. Let's go on up. Uh, there's a ton to check out right here, uh, so let's go ahead and go on out and take a look. Is this where they make chairs? Is that what's going on here? I guess they're fixing a chair, yeah, aren't they? Uh, there's also a barrier here, too, which is interesting, so let's go around that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, there's not much going on there. There's another blue door, which it seems like, it seems like this map really loves blue doors, huh? But I'm assuming, yeah, nothing on the... Oh, wait, there is actually a little bit of something on the other side of it. There is actually... There's actually a place to stand here, which is strange, to be honest. Uh, but quite a different perspective. Oh, another one of those rooms. We'll check that out later. It's definitely weird that there's a barrier here. I don't know... I don't know why that would be. Maybe it's, maybe it's just because of, like, what's above us has a barrier and it comes all the way down. I'm gonna take a sip of the coffee real quick. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. <clears throat> and if you are... Leave a like on the video, subscribe, of course, if you are not already, so you can come back for more, and let's get to checking out some more of this stuff. Thank you guys for watching as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got going on up here. So, again, a couple rooms. This is a little, like, rock locker room, workbench kind of deal. Oh, looks like they're playing cards up here, huh? A little, little, well, I was about to say five-card poker, but there's six cards right here, so that's not, it's definitely not true. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in the cabinet other than, well, we got a book here, actually. Yeah, so I've made sure my brightness is up all the way, and I can't tell what's going on in this book. In fact, I think this book, it's just a bunch of numbers. This is totally just an absolute sheet of numbers. I don't know how easy this is to see, but then right here on the page that's ripped out, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but that is definitely a triangle, and that is definitely... An eye, right? The Illuminati symbol. So, quite interesting. I guess the Illuminati, right? Doing their their brainwashing, their brainwashing stuff in uh, in Black Ops One, of course, right from the Black Ops One campaign. I'm sure, as you guys know, with with Mason knowing the numbers, right, and all that kind of stuff, uh, being brainwashed. Quite interesting that that's here. Obviously, you would never, ever see that. There's absolutely no way you would ever see that. So maybe it's reused from somewhere else where you could see it somewhere? I don't know. But I've never seen this before, and I think it's quite interesting that that's there. Really weird. Really, really weird. All right, so moving on from that, that was... Man, that, that took me by surprise, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting to find that out there. 
Uh, we got a little room here, obviously, and let's go ahead and see what's behind here. Looks like kind of like a like a washroom. Dirty, really dirty washroom, in fact. Uh, that leads to... what? Where am I? Where the heck is this? Oh! No way! Okay, that's cool. Alright, yeah, so obviously we'll get to this part, uh, this area more in a bit. Uh, but that's really cool. So this leads to... Oh, there's also this room here. I'm not sure why this is here. But this, this little... This window up here, all the way up here, leads into uh, the actual theater itself, which is cool. There's this very abrupt transition between gross washroom kind of deal to to beautiful theater, <laughs> which is quite cool. Interesting. I gotta love the I love the I love the way they did pathing back in the day, man. Because right in Black Ops One as well, uh, the zombies just tracked you across the map. Right, you 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 had to. You had, they didn't die on their own, right? So if you left a zombie alive, uh, it would actually track you all the way across the map and, until you killed it. Uh, so it's, it's really interesting how they how they engineered some of these pathways to make to make the maps work a bit better. There's also another blue door here, and of course, with tradition, we've got to go through it. All right, let's continue downward. Open up the door, take a look. Look at that beautiful little little peek through to the theater. Uh, I don't think there's anything too crazy behind the steps, but we might as well check them out. What's going on back here? We got a little corner we could get into. Uh, yeah, there's not not much going on back here. It's just like one massive barrier, I think, to be honest with you. So I can't really move around in it. Uh, but let's check out what's behind some of these windows. Big old real room. So we got a whole bunch of storage for that stuff. And yeah, nothing. Little little spawn room right there. I don't think. Uh, there's any kind of like ciphers hidden or anything like that, like there is in the giant in this map. So let's go ahead and go on out. Right, so over here we have another door. And uh, this one's a little bit more interesting, right? Because there's this like purple light coming around from the backside. But it doesn't really, uh, you know, they're just spawn rooms at the end of the day. There's no like cipher book sitting here, is there? What's this? Is this the same kind of book? No, it doesn't look like it. This one just, just blank it looks like. So there's not that numbers book like there is. Uh, in that other room. That is still, dude, that is still tripping me up, that numbers, that numbers book. Which, like, it's like, why would that even be there? Oh! Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so here is a little bit, I don't know if this is Latin? Uh, I'm not sure what this is right here. Perhaps I'll have something pop up on the screen for you guys right now if I can find anything on the internet. That's quite cool, a little, little, uh, little hint of something. Suppose you can see it from from inside the map too. There is plenty of light, so with a sniper rifle, you could probably make that out. Don't know what that means. All right, let's go ahead, turn on the power, open it up, get the light rolling, and I just kind of want to take a quick look, a little little just a little peruse through here, uh, just to kind of take a look at some of this uh, this catwalk and stuff uh, from a different angle that you don't normally get to see. Where does this ladder go to? So this ladder goes all the way up here like some like really dark attic oh god it's hard to see and then it just ends huh i'm not sure oh okay yeah so that's for like the people who like control the curtains and stuff i guess right in a theater i don't i don't know i don't know how theaters work man at least like these old ones certainly but that's uh that's cool to see and here we are making it to the theater so there's a bunch of stuff to check out i'm guessing this window is probably a lot like that window Right, where it connects to, to another window on that side. Most likely the same with, with all of that stuff as well. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to hold off on that for right now. And I'm just going to check out the stuff down here. So like, for instance, this one right here. What do we got going on? And again, a whole lot of, a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of the same kind of stuff. Although this is a much smaller spawn room, huh? And then over to the other side, we got... Uh, same kind of thing, right? Teddy bear sitting here, though. Uh, of course... And anything interesting with these books? It doesn't look like it, no. Nothing nothing too much going on there. And again, a little spawn room here. The Bismarck. How nice. So just to get a better perspective on this room, just wanted to take a look at it from above here. And and man, it is it is actually pretty massive, to be honest with you. There's a flickering right light back here, but I don't think there's much going on with it, unfortunately. And uh, I don't think... I've, I took a look through the debris. I can't find anything that's all that interesting to, to point out. 
Just a whole bunch of chairs. But I think that's all for down here, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's... It's strange, kind of, how some of this is set up. What is this? Oh, wait! So, these... these canisters here, uh, quite clearly have a zombie in them. Oh my god, that is disgusting. So, it's like a 2D image of a zombie's face inside of this little canister. I wonder, like, what is... what is the lore of that, dude? So, in this theater, were they, like... were they, like, using these things as, like, entertainment or something? Like, were they using zombies... As entertainment or something? Is that why they had them in these, like, little canisters? That's so strange. Like, why would this... Why is this? Also, why are they blue? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know this was here. I never... I never knew this was a thing. I don't know if this is, like, some known lore. You guys probably might already know. There's a lot of them, too. There's a ton of them. And, uh, I mean, obviously you can see them, right? You can definitely... You can definitely see that. Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. There is literally crates of them here, too. I've, I swear, I've played this map so many times. Like, so, so many times. And I have never noticed that these are just chilling right here. I don't know if they're here on the original one uh, at all, but I've played this, this version of the map quite a bit too. And, yeah, like, I have never, ever noticed that these are just chilling here. Alright, so we gotta check it out, right? Below the stage, we do have some area down here. Let's take a look at what's going on. Oh! We have the good old, uh, the chalkboard, the experiment one, uh, 935 was successful. That we see all over, like, the giant, for instance. And this place is kind of massive, actually. Got some clothes chilling down here. There's not much, there's a whole bunch of empty space, and then, like, randomly, a few things are scattered around the areas that there's, there's a hole in the floor, of course. Uh, but, is there anything too, there's anything, like, hidden down here? Any... Any crazy messages of sorts, is what I'm wondering. Yeah, so I've looked all around down here, and it doesn't seem like any of it is really all that interesting, to be honest with you. No no hidden messages or, or pieces of paper on the ground, ciphers, things like that. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I feel like this would be a fantastic kind of thing, area to do that with, you know what I mean? And yeah, I mean, when you look down in there, there's really not much you can see, right? There's that hole there, and I suppose these ones over here as well. I mean, it adds to the ambiance, right, quite a bit, that you can just look underneath and, and see all this going on below you. Cool. All right, let's continue onward, open up the door, into the dressing room. Such a beautiful place. I got a feeling this has some interesting stuff to note. So obviously we have uh, something above us, right? It looks like some kind of, I don't know if that's just brick above us, but let's go ahead and check that out, I suppose, first. Go into the light and see what it looks like above, above this room. A whole lot of nothing, uh, but this a little, like, two walls here are, of course, completely uh, modeled. You can, in fact, walk around the outside, too, which is kind of cool. Oh, wow! You can see the, uh, the screen loaded through the wall. That's kind of cool, counting down. So that's obviously uh, a separate uh, thing uh, from other stuff, you know what I mean? Like, actual physical uh, modeled objects. Uh, there's another one of those rooms down there, so let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, this is the Pentagon, nice. So, we're in the Pentagon now, or at least I assume it's the Pentagon, right? But yeah, we got we got this little area, so that's cool. We can see, of course, our rocket. So, little 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 rocket meeting that's going on here. Right, this is one of those rooms that you can spawn in and find the reels for when, you, when you're teleporting. Uh, but it's cool to take a look at it up close and... Not limited by the amount of time that you can you, you can spend here. There's a little bit of a closer up picture of some of these documents as well. Top secret up at the top, of course. I can't really make out anything that this says, but uh, here it is, in case you're interested. And here's another one as well. They seem to have real pictures on them as well. Like that, uh, that picture in the bottom left is definitely like an actual satellite image. I notice as well, there's a little note here. Let's see if I can get up and close. Look at that. Something about the effects of 115, something, something, something. Who can use such weapons without themselves training? That's uh, that's that's interesting. Uh, what's going on there? I don't, I don't know, I don't know why that would be in this Pentagon room, but it it definitely is. I guess, I guess they know about the 115 as well, in this uh, in this universe. All right, back inside the dressing room here. Let's go ahead and check out some of these windows. These little spawn rooms, there's not too much going on in here, it doesn't look like that's interesting. 
just uh, I don't know, a boiler room, I guess, and a little spawn room back here. And then coming on over to here, let's check out this one as well. I'm assuming the same kind of deal. We got a whole bunch of clothes, and yeah, a whole lot of nothing. What is that? Oh wow, there's just a zombie arm just chilling here for no apparent reason. <laughs> Nasty, dude. Jeez, I guess you can kind of see that, huh? Not sure. Not sure why they chose to have that chilling around, but it definitely is. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Go ahead and open up this door. And here we are to this wonderful area. So I suppose first thing to check out, right, is these windows as always. It's another real room, it looks like. Not too much going on. Little white square down in the corner. But yeah, not too much going on in here. And then we got this one right here next to Speed Cola. This one looks a little bit more interesting, maybe, but yeah, again, not much. Uh, not much, not much to go, not much to go on here. But we got some nice, uh, nice towels, nice clean towels. Or maybe, uh, I, I suppose they're not probably towels, huh? They're probably like, uh, for eating, right? The placemats and napkins or whatever and stuff. Because this is like, this is a, this is a restaurant kind of deal, right? I think? Maybe? I mean, it's a bar here, right? So it's, it's at least a bar. Put it that way. And up on over here, our last window of this room. Let's take a look. I'm assuming, yep, yep. Yep, okay, there's a little dark... Oh my, what is this? Sorry, I got distracted by darkness there. Uh, but yeah, this does indeed go on out into the theater as we had assumed that it would uh, before. But that's cool to see, right? These little connections, just like the other side. This connects back to what is this window right here. Last door to open. Let's go ahead and go through it. Go on up the stairs. And here we are in this area. I don't think there's much to check out. Obviously, there's down there, which we want to check out. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here, though, first. So we got a little staircase, I'm assuming, to nowhere. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go on down, take a look at what's going on down here. Obviously, some blood and gross stuff that you can see from above. But I don't think there's anything hidden around the outside. Doesn't look like it. Obviously, we got these two doors on either end. Let's go ahead and see where they go. So this one right here. Again, of course, goes to nowhere. Just a blank wall on the- oh, wait, what is that? Alright, so what's going on with this this floating zombie, right? It's just a headless zombie, and it's just chilling right here. Why? Why, why is this here? I- I don't know. I have- I literally couldn't tell ya. You don't- you don't see a zombie when you teleport, do you? A headless zombie, though? Like, it's headless. I- I don't know. Uh, that's strange to me. There's also this dark room above me. I don't know where is this. Oh, okay. So this dark room that was above me is just is this is just this this window right here that leads around uh, to this area right here. Uh, so something we just hadn't gotten to gotten to yet. But yeah, why is there a freaking zombie just chilling here, man? That is so strange. I don't I don't know why that'd be there. I guess maybe uh, some leftover unused stuff. I I don't know. Cool to see it though, I mean, I'd never know that was there otherwise. Alright, so now it's time for the little odds and ends section of the video, right? We went through the entire map, now I'm gonna go ahead and fly around and see what else I can find out, just like, outside on this map, see if there's anything interesting to see. Thank you guys for making it this so far in the video, and if you have made it this far, you're awesome. Leave a comment down below, like the video if you've enjoyed it so far, let's go ahead and see what else we can find out here. I bet there's some stuff just chilling around that might be interesting to show you guys. So one thing I noticed in this room right here, right, where that door is that we started in, in the very beginning, uh, if I go underneath here, there's actually, like, a little bit of a textured area. There's, oh, yeah, so there's this random box, for one thing, right, this, like, silver box that we're in right now, which I have no idea why this is here. Yeah, and then below it we have this area. So there's, like, some textured carpet and some, some tile and stuff here. Again, no reason for this to be here, but it's just chilling down here for some reason. Not sure why, right? Obviously, everywhere else below the map, there's really not much going on. There is here. Strange. There's this as well, right here in the uh, front of the theater here, under the map. Just chilling. I think I caught a glimpse of this earlier. Not sure why this is here. I don't think it actually is anything, to be honest with you. It, it goes up to nowhere. So it's just, again, another unused... Uh, Asset. So I got the teleporter all linked up. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. So I'm going to hit the teleporter and see if I can no clip. So while we're in this little... Uh, I can actually. 
Oh, yes, I did it. Okay, wait, so uh, I might have broke the game. I think I broke the game. I can't move. So we're inside of a black box, and that black box is most certainly the black box that, that is just a concrete wall standing outside of the, the front of the, the theater. Okay, after a while here, it seems to have pushed me out of the concrete wall, so we can definitely know that that's there now. But, oh, okay, there we go. It's letting me move now, finally. While I was waiting for the teleporter to regenerate, I noticed something from afar, right? So this is that the first, uh, first teleporter room that we went into, or room that you teleport into, that we went into in the very beginning, where we saw those red and blue pipes, and you can see from afar that they're actually completely rendered through the entirety of that room. Which is strange, right? So they, I guess they start here somewhere. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, so these red and blue pipes, they start here. And then they go all the way through to the other side. And come out here. No idea why they're red and blue. Doesn't make any sense. You can't even see them from inside of here, I don't think. Right, so this is where you usually are. Can't see them whatsoever. They're definitely there. Alright, so if I teleport, right? It brings us to that black box, right, which is where we see that transition, and then we get put right here inside of the old Pack-A-Punch room. But I want to test something. If I no-clip out of here, will it still teleport me? Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem like it. I've been sitting here for, for at least a minute now, and it definitely hasn't teleported me. And I think, like, the timer up there is, like, 40 seconds or so. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like that works. Let's try something else. All right, so this time, let's teleport... Go ahead and see this beautiful purpleness. Uh, but let's go ahead and let it let's let it teleport us again. Oh, this is like standing in grocery line. Sick. There we go. We got teleported to a room. Interesting. So I'm gonna actually no clip out of it. And I didn't get teleported. Okay. So so there you go. I just wanted to know if that would happen. So it seems to me, although maybe it was because I was no clipping though. Yeah, maybe that wasn't exactly scientific considering that I was no clipping there, but I'm pretty sure how these rooms work, right, is it only teleports what is in that room at the time. I mean, that would make sense, obviously. It doesn't just keep track of the player. I think it actually keeps track of what is in the space, and then it teleports whatever is there after a certain amount of time. I'm, I'm guessing that's what's going on there. Interestingly, it did make the noise as I left. Right, so I'm guessing the noise just happens no matter what. Like that teleporter whoosh noise, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and keep testing this. Obviously, I could to figure out if that's exactly what's going on, but it seems that way. If you want to check it out yourself and, and try this as well, uh, the link is down in the description to the mod menu I'm using. There's a, Of course, there's other ones as well on the Steam, but this is the one that I like, at least. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's just take one last little spin around the, uh, the good old Kino, man. It's a beautiful map, great map. From the outside, it looks pretty not so beautiful, but it's cool to see. What is this? Okay, I guess that's part of the catwalk. Interesting that that's just sticking out the backside. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, man. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, again, leave a like the video, subscribe so you can come back for more. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.